Hi everyone, in this video we are going to do an example of solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. And hopefully after watching this video you will know how to solve a quadratic equation. So I'm going to start this video by writing down the formula and the biggest thing to get good at this, the biggest thing is to always write down the formula before you do a problem without looking at any resources, okay? So every single time you sit down to do a problem, write that equation down and then do the problem. But write that equation down without looking at it. So let's start. So what is a quadratic equation? So if we have an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a is not equal to zero, this is, this is called a quadratic equation. So whenever you have an equation that has this form, it's called a quadratic equation. Notice the condition that a is not equal to zero. So if a were equal to zero, what happens is you just get bx plus c equals zero. And that is called a linear equation, right? So super, super key. All right, so quadratic equations, how do you solve them? Well, there's a formula you can use to solve the quadratic equation. The formula says if you have this equation, the solutions to this equation are given by the following formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so that's the formula for the quadratic equation. So all we have to do is given a problem, we plug in the values of a, b, and c into this formula and we simplify carefully and then we get the answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an example and I'll leave the formula up. Um, let's go ahead and solve, um, let's see, solve, I'm just gonna make one up. Let's do two x squared plus x minus one equals zero. Okay, so we're gonna solve this equation here using this formula which is called the quadratic uh, formula for solving quadratic equations. All right, so solution. The first thing we wanna do is identify A, B, and C. So A in this problem is gonna be two, B is gonna be one, and C is gonna be negative one. Just, just using matching, right? And if it helps, you can write it underneath like this, AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. And you can use matching here to, to see that A is two. And I always like to write down the values of A, B, and C. I totally recommend doing that. Um, don't just do it in your head, okay? Plus, like if you're taking a class and you're doing this like in a testing situation, um, if you don't write down the values of A, B, C, and like you get it wrong, you won't get as much credit. So always show as much work as possible. And as I mentioned before, always write down the quadratic equation. You might say, well, wait a minute, you already wrote it down. Who cares, right? Write it down every single time, right? So x is equal to negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Really nice, right? Really, really nice. So now we just plug everything in. Now, you can skip some steps, but I'm going to show you the step you should never skip, okay? So this is x equals, so b is 1, so this is negative 1 plus or minus the square root of. So now we have 1 here, so it'll be 1 squared. So I'll write it, I'll write it since this is like a video for learning minus four times a, which is two, and then times c, which is negative one. So all over two times a, which is two times two. So here's the spot, the part that you never wanna skip, and this actually turned out to be a good example, uh, because look, negative and negative is positive. You've got that double negative, it's gonna turn into a positive. So this is x equals. So if you skip that and do it in your head, it's really easy to, to mess up the signs, so don't, don't do that. So this is negative one plus or minus the square root of, one squared is one, so this is one plus, right, double negative plus eight. Oh, this is cool. This worked out really nice. Two times two is four. Okay, two times two is four. And so one plus eight is nine, so this, is, this gives us x equals negative one plus or minus the square root of nine over four, which is negative one plus or minus three over four. So we have x equals negative one plus or minus three over four. So how do we keep going here? So what you do now is you break it up into two separate cases, okay? So the first case would be x equals, let's do the plus case first. So it'll be negative one plus three over four. 
that's going to be 2 over 4, which is 1 over 2. That's one of our answers. Okay, that's one of our answers, 1 half. Now we'll do the minus case. I'll do it over here because I'm running out of room. So x equals minus 1 minus 3 over 4. That would be the minus case. So we've got the plus case and the minus case. This is minus 4 over 4, which is minus 1. So those are the answers to this quadratic equation, right? We've got, we've got 1 half and we've got uh, minus 1. So let's suppose, let's suppose that you wanted to uh, check your answers. How would you do that? Well, you would, take, you would take each of these values, you would take the 1 half and you would take the negative 1 and you would plug them back into the original equation and you would verify that the answer was 0. In fact, let's go ahead and do it. I'm just going to erase the board really quickly. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check our answers, which is not something uh, that we typically do. And one of the answers was negative one. I just erased it. So so let's go ahead and check negative one. So let's check that. So to check negative one, what you want to do, okay, what you want to do here is you basically want to take it and plug it into this. So our equation is 2x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. So checking negative 1 means that you put a negative 1 everywhere there's an x. So it's 2 times negative 1 squared minus 1 minus 1. So this is equal to 2 times 1 minus 2, which is 0. So it checks. So negative 1 uh, is indeed one of our answers. Now you don't have to check. Nothing says you have to check. In fact, most people don't check uh, when using this. In fact, it's, it's not something I really probably haven't done this too much. But if you wanted to check your answers, like if you were taking a test, and if you had the time, this is, this is how you would do it, right? Let's go ahead and check 1 half, which is a little bit more annoying because it's a fraction. So check 1 half. So when we check 1 half, again, we take 1 half and we plug it into to this equation here. So it's 2 times 1 half squared plus 1 half minus 1. Hmm. Well, 1 half squared is 1 fourth, so this is 2 times 1 fourth plus 1 half minus 1. 2 times 1 fourth, what's well, 1 half, right? Because 2 goes into 4 twice. So this is 1 half plus 1 half minus 1. So it's 1 minus 1, which is 0. So it checks, right? No issues. So it checks. So 1 half is indeed one of our answers. So hopefully, uh, now you understand uh, the quadratic formula. And again, the most important thing, okay? Two things. One, Every time you do a problem, you want to write it down first, okay? Uh, like when you see solve, the quadra solve by using the quadratic equation, write down the quadratic equation and then, you know, fully without looking at anything. Second thing you want to do when you plug in the numbers, be very careful and be extra careful uh, in this spot here. Well, that's it. Hopefully you've learned some math in this video. Subscribe, like, share. Check out my courses. They are on Udemy, which is a great place to have courses. However, if you get them, use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com, because I've lowered the prices and it helps me greatly. Also, check out my X, check out my Instagram, check out my eBay store, check out my other YouTube channels, Internet Sorcerer and Math Sorcerer Espanol. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.